Hey gang, welcome back. It's Captain Cowboy here with another video. And we're going to be doing some gold spending the wrong way. 1.2 million gold. We're going to start wasting on upgrading my buildings to get them up to level 35 so I can get some T11s. Now in this video I'm only going to be wasting gold and wasting my precious money on my stables just because that is the closest one to T11s. And since you're getting heavy cavalry with T11s it's a great addition. So I want to go ahead and just show you guys this video. I thought it was pretty cool me wasting my time and forgetting to do the proper treatments on getting my temporary wonder and getting my um, talent in order to get to my T11s. Now we're at T11s. This is awesome. I am so ecstatic about this. Now we're short on silver. That's okay. I just spent 500,000 gold on a couple upgrades. I'm going to come back in a later video and I will get those resources. I'm going to pump out some troops. Or not. I'm going to do it now. Because no better time than the present, right? Let's start pumping out our first T11s. Now I completely overestimated how much it would cost me to train T11s. But you know what? Who cares? We're doing this. So I'm pumping out 2,000 T11s, and I'm for, I have my population surge on, so that's awesome. And I'm training two, almost 2,000 troops at a time with all of my available upgrades. I dismantled some equipment that allows me to train more with a higher training capacity, but that's okay. I'm still waiting on getting my purple guard to level five, five stars for 60% troop training speed. And that is a very expensive feat, but it is very well worth it. And I'm also doing all this under 300% troop training um, boost, I should say, for KVK. Now that's really extremely helpful, but that's not always the case. So it's a little disappointing, and now I'm just wasting gold on food. This is what my life has come to, and again, I forget there are other ways to get resources. So let's go ahead and waste my day. I'm going to go buy all the food that I can. Really, the best benefit is with these 10k of food parcels. Gets you the most amount of food for your coins. So, But I have enough coins to spare like 3400 to begin with so I don't care I'm gonna go ahead and buy it all and we'll go ahead and open it all and let's get going I wish you guys could see where my clicks were but you can only ask for so much especially when I'm struggling to get my sound and my video and my screen recording all together but that's life, isn't it? So I don't want to go too low on my 60 minutes, my 60 minutes speed up. So I'm gonna start using some my 30s or my three hours, and just continue training troops, pumping them out pretty fast. About 30,000 troops now, but it's not enough for me. I want to get at least 50k T11 cav because these heavy cav are awesome and completely worth every penny. And I also want to utilize my 300% uh, troop training speed before that runs out because then it's just wasted power that you could have had speed on and you can't because they kind of made it a lot more difficult to be able to attain speed ups with later updates that m most likely people in Gl Guns of Glory haven't experienced in their time here. But 
back in the day when you would buy airship experience you would be getting 240 hours worth of speed ups and that was awesome you'd also be getting like 25 million food and that really helped I actually made a 150 million power increase one day in King of Avalon but that was mainly from speed ups and food from finishing up my research uh, trails back when it only went up to level 12 and that was great. That was a lot of fun. And now we're finally done. Trained about 50,000 T11 calf. And those are my first T11 calf. First T11s. Thank you all for watching.